All righty, folks. Welcome on back to Lego Jurassic World. Um, I keep exiting, and it keeps kicking me back into the mission. So here we are with the cutscene again. <laughs> Hi. I took them on an impulse. I thought they'd be worth a fortune, enough to fund the dig site another ten more years. What if they catch us with them? What if they catch us without them? There's a boat at the bottom, just downriver. I'll try and make it to the coast, at least. Well, now we know why the raptors have been following us. What is it? It's a bird cage. Well, there goes Eric. Didn't we just get him back? Alright. Oh. <clears throat> Interesting. Alright. Did not know that was going to be a thing. That's kind of funny. Again with the screaming Miss Kirby. Don't worry. None of us can see him. Oh, wait. Maybe you should worry. <laughs> I know why I'm being so mean to Miss Kirby, and it's because she's super annoying. All right, what's this way? The amber's up top. Is there any way I can get up there? Maybe this way. Whoa. All right, so we don't have Mr. What's-His-Name with us currently anymore. I got to remember, if I ever get on top, I have to go back. Let's get across. Because, yeah, I don't know how else to... Where's Kirby? To get that amber. Oh, I have to actually hold X. Well, that was close. Yeah, hi. All right, so we're not supposed to do anything with that. We're not supposed to go that way just yet. And I now need Dr. Alan Grant. So... Just a second. Let's get this built. There. All right, well, that works. Do we have anybody with a light? No. All right. I need Mr. Hack and Slash. I have a box. Overgrown chicken. <laughs> I don't think we can get... I think we have to... Yeah, we need a lot of stuff, apparently. So we don't have a crowbar to get in here. We don't have the ability to grow plants. Um, yeah, you don't have a crowbar. I didn't think so. So that's just for this part. To get us a whole bunch of bones so that Dr. Allen can build us a bridge. Oh, 
I'm constantly afraid that they're going to uh Careful. Well there's there's that. Interesting. There is some stuff to build. But there's also some stuff to smash. There's a lot of stuff to smash, apparently. Right, let's see here. What is this build? <laughs> It's a little air-powered rocket. Bye-bye, birdie. Yep. Bye-bye, birdie. I like it. Bye-bye, birdie. Kind of like bye-bye, black sheep. Well. Can I go back this way? And get to anything useful? No, it's all too far away. All right. Well, that was almost too late. What about up here? I need to get... Okay. So I would need to get Alan up here, but I can't get Alan up here. Come on. At least not that I know of, unless this gets Alan up there. Oh, look at that. All right, Dr. Allen. I was going to say. Okay. It's all blinking out. We don't have a small dinosaur to go through there. And yes, I do know that that is for a small dinosaur. I do at least remember that. Build anything out of this? No, it's all just going to go away. Um, why does it sound like we're over bubbling lava? That's an interesting thought. All right, well, there's that. here do I need to go up is there oh look at that there's something I can build here okay I got this <laughs> so avoid the pteranodons get as many studs as we can there we go I don't have to worry about that one in the future Nice catch. Let go now. Well, we needed to get down into the river, right? <laughs> go, Billy, go. Hello, Mr. Spino. Well, 
at least we got the phone back. For now. Yeah, hi. Find a weapon. A weapon? How about run away? What are we gonna do against that thing with a weapon? You'd need a harpoon gun. And even then. Alright. So what are your folks' bets for how much how many studs this is gonna take? Is it gonna be fifty or forty-five? gonna be 50. I can already tell just because we went up to 41 and now we're at 42 and it's barely moved at all. Well, I'm currently Eric, aren't I? Oh, hello. Tracks the big thing with the spine. Right. And you've just been carrying it around? Whoa. That's some explosive bits. Oh, hey, look. Weapons. Except they're not complete. You need to add something to them, huh? Alright. I wonder what that could be. It's either going to be water or something along those lines. Oh, it's 48. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> I was definitely wrong. Whoopsies. Are those flares? Are we going to be shooting flares at it? Yeah, apparently we're going to be shooting flares at it. Anything else I can target? Uh, it just drops stuff. There we go. A nice fiery weapon. Yeah, you got his attention, all right. Well, let's switch to Paul. Start getting him back over towards land. Whoa. Hello. I was not expecting you to get that close. That actually kind of terrified me a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. Just a little bit, though. All right, let's drop these explosive barrels. One of which didn't go over. Can I destroy the one that didn't go over? Nope. Can I destroy the house? Also a no. All right, I'll switch back to Alan. Shoot them again. Ah, there's destroying the house. Yeah, a few more barrels. How are we going to release those? I see a couple more. Oh, it's going to be a drop them into the water kind of thing. All right. Let's get whatever this thing is built. Thank you for that. All right. Should be right about... Oh, it stops for me. Fair enough. Works for me. Can I just, like, have these right over his head and then we shoot them? That way we coat him in the fiery flammable liquid?
Or is that what Mr. Kirby's doing? Maybe that was what Mr. Kirby was doing. All right, Alan. Oh, maybe it wasn't what he was doing. <laughs> I love how his fin was just twitching back and forth. <laughs> yeah, but we still have a compy sitting here. Is he going to join us? Wait, really? <laughs> Just sit and it worked? They want the eggs. Otherwise, we'd be dead already. <laughs> no, 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 no. Call for help. That's a helicopter. Didn't that all also attract the T Rex? If I remember right. All right. Well, there's going home. What are we at? 154 or 1.54 million? Did we need, seriously need like 4 mil for that? We'll have to check when we get off of site B. This also looks like it's a Spinosaurus. All right, Alan Grant lecture. We got a soldier. I don't remember the soldier being in the level, but okay. Eric Kirby. <laughs> Enrique Casardo. Car Car Cardiso? I don't know. Hunter Trapper. Dang. I was hoping there'd be more. No amber. I know where the amber was on that one, though. So we got True Survivor and Level Complete. Oh, that's the end of the story. Sweet. That's the end of Jurassic Park 3. Oh, that's why they're soldiers. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. laughs> and there's Billy. Still being chased by the Pteranodons. <laughs> I guess he was annoyed with that, huh? Alright. Well, we're going to skip this because it is just the same stuff over and over again. It is fun, but too bad we don't get to keep anything. With 96 teeth in its jaws, the Baryonyx is one of the toothiest carnivores in Jurassic World. Toothiest, really? You used the word toothiest? Oi, yay, yay. All right. Can I now... I can now switch to whoever I want. Perfect. Let's go get this red brick. That we already know where it is. It's this way, I believe. Wait, where is it? This way. Over a little bit of time. A little bit. It's funny because every time I record one of these and I remove it from my list of the ones that I need to record and all that stuff, uh, it doesn't seem like the list gets any smaller. <laughs> Which is not good. All right. Let's grab Ellie. Actually, let's straight up grab Eric. Because I forgot about this part. There you go. I'm 
curious if this guy can uh, break some of this stuff for me. All right, time to go up the tree. And then switch to Billy. Oh, I'm going to have to switch you to Alan. And then I can switch you to Billy. Ha ha. I didn't really care about studs. I just wanted the leaf. Where's the banana? We never found the banana. Hmm. All right. I oh, yes. All right. So it does tell you stuff. I need Mr. Kirby. Because in here's the mushroom. And then we just have a banana. It's somewhere. I'm hoping it's not in here. Because that's amber that can only be destroyed by uh, T-Rex. Or a T-Rex's roar, I should say. A banana. I'm betting it's in that amber. No! You know, I guess we could look it up, but I don't know which, which red brick that is. I just know where it is. So we have more eggs, but I have no way of getting over here. Okay. Apparently, we do have ways of getting over here. Interesting. All right. Mr. Grant... I don't know how many I need to put in there. That's the thing. I wonder why it wouldn't let us get up here the first time. Two. I'm guessing we still need at least one more. Didn't I see a third one? Was it up here? Don't know. Let's find out. Was it over there? No. Okay. So, another egg. Just just one more egg. Actually, let's give that to Dr. Alan Grant. I'm betting it was because we didn't have the quick run. Aha! Well, there's a gold brick or a red brick for us. So let's jump down here. And we'll travel back to Jurassic Park. Yes, hello. Oh, I can buy you. No, let's not buy you. Back to the park we go. The Dilophosaurus is lightweight, slender, and fast, feeding off smaller animals, but it is not built to confront larger prey. No, but it can spit on them. Or on their eyes. Or Yeah. Oh, right. I can just use this thing. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, yeah. Map point, though. Okay, let's go see what we just unlocked and how much it costs and what it is and if it's worth it. Um, that would be not in genetics. So the, is it really right here? Oh, it is. All right, so we have times eight, which is four million. The amber brick detector. Uh, that would actually be fairly useful. How much is it? 200,000. That's a level or two. All right, I think we're going to wait for now, uh, but I am going to end today's episode off here. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.